In 2023, there were nearly half a billion monthly podcast listeners, and that number grows about 10% year over year. So if you aren't taking advantage of this opportunity, you are quite frankly getting left behind, much like this kayak behind me. If you've ever thought about starting a podcast, follow this tutorial step by step, and you will have your first episode online today. It doesn't have to be time consuming or difficult. In fact, I'm going to start my podcast in the time that it takes me to get from here in Twickenham to Waterloo train station on the train. Hey, my name is Christian, but you can call me Lil. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button because I'm gonna be coming out with lots of videos about business, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle travel that you're really not gonna wanna miss. Rugby day, pick it up. Okay, so I'm waiting for my train now, and the first thing you need to do is pick a podcast host. This is essentially the company that's going to host your podcast files, your MP3 files, and it's gonna distribute them to all of the big podcasting companies, like Spotify, Apple Music, and everywhere else you might listen to a podcast. Now, don't get what I'm about to tell you twisted because there are a bunch of great options. You have Anchor, Podbean, Buzzsprout, and all the other ones that are down below here. But if you're just getting started with podcasting, this is the first time you've ever done it, you almost definitely wanna just go with Anchor, which is now owned by Spotify. Reason being that it has like automatic distribution with all the maximum amount of channels it's completely unlimited and it's totally free and it'll match you up with potential advertisers automatically and if you do one day decide that one of those other podcasting hosts is better for you then it's super easy to change if you want to know more about each one of those different podcasting hosts in the description of episode one it's gonna be only for subscribers a guide to podcasting there's a spreadsheet with a whole bunch of different podcasting companies all of the benefits that they offer their prices and everything else that you might need for that so go ahead and pause this go do that I'll wait I'm not gonna wait long as I got on the train I was recording my really nice b-roll and then like two dozen people got on the train I didn't want to be rude so I decided this is gonna be a voiceover not to worry I've included the trains audio in the background so you know exactly where we are in the process during each stop basically I'm just gonna play this video on my computer and I'm gonna comment over it as it's playing and go Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to podcasters.spotify.com. You're going to sign up if you don't already have a Spotify account or sign in if you do, and you are going to go continue to the app. That's continue to podcasters.spotify.com. Now, once you've signed up for that, you're gonna to have to you know, agree to the terms and conditions, and your next step is to come up with a Spotify podcast name or just a podcast name. Now, <laughs> you can do whatever you want here. If you've got a name already, that's great. But I just go straight over to ChatGPT. That's what I do for like everything these days. So now you put in, you know, whatever you put in here. This is your podcast idea. But for me, I said, give me some podcast name ideas. The podcast is about entrepreneurship and business. The first 10 suggestions that they gave me, they were, they were kind of cool. But I wanted to make it about like really getting into the I really want to make it provocative. That's sort of my branding, my style, and my YouTube channel. And so that's what I want my podcast to be like too. Provocative as in it's like no BS, no nonsense. So that's what I'm telling ChatGPT here. And it's giving me a couple other ideas here. I think the, the no BS business sense is kind of like too much. But here we go putting it in the raw entrepreneur. That was one of the ideas. I think that's a great one. Now, full disclosure, I am going to change the name of this podcast. It's probably just going to be Call Me Lil or Lil Assistance. But for the purposes of this podcast here, I chose, sorry, for the purposes of this video here, I chose ChatGPT Suggestion, The Raw Entrepreneur. Now, what you need is you need a podcast description. This is going to be really similar to your podcast title. You, you're, you're creating your style, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend going directly with the first suggestion that ChatGPT gives you. Um, here, I'm manipulating a little bit. I say, I chose the raw entrepreneur. Can you give me a podcast description that goes right along with the name and the description? You know, like the style of like what we're actually doing here. Now, I didn't really like that response. So basically, I'm just updating the original text that I gave it. And like that first paragraph is, you know, pretty much OK. Now you've got to, the, the next most important thing is you need to pick your category. Now, picking your category, um, it's it's quite important to pick the right one. If you want to come up in, you know, if you want to be one of the top or one of the top podcasters in X category. For entrepreneurship, there are a couple different options here. I mean, I could have picked entrepreneurship. Obviously, there's also like self-improvement and there are different educational ones that might be suitable. Um, but basically, I just decided on entrepreneurship. It's the most obvious and it's probably the one that I want to actually rank in if I do rank for, you know, on Spotify one day. Here we are to the creative part of this. Choose your cover art. Now, one of the best pieces of advice that I could give somebody 
um, is to go and look at other podcasts that are operating in your niche. Now, this right here is my buddy TJ. He also has an entrepreneurship podcast. I've also been featured on this podcast. You can see me right there. That's the good looking one. Um, go over to look at his graphics. I'm not saying you should copy these people or copy him or copy anybody else in your niche, but I am saying that you can definitely get some like creative ideas from here. He has mountains and trees and, you know, like a person in a suit standing on top of a mountain, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty fitting for his podcast specifically. And mine, it's not going to be exactly like his. His is dedicated to what he calls adventurous entrepreneurs. Uh, mine is more about getting into the nitty gritty, but I still kind of like the concept of the mountains. So I think I'm just going to, I'm going to want to work with something like that. But I like a little bit more, more modern, more chic, more kind of Scandinavian style. So, you know, I'm going straight to ChatGPT, obviously. Give me some ideas for a podcast thumbnail. The podcast is called The Raw Entrepreneur, and it's about real world advice for real world entrepreneurs. It should be minimal and geometric, ideally. So I really like, like I said, like that chic uh, sort of Scandinavian style, geometric. Now, basically what ChatGPT has done here, I'm not just telling you that I like the abstract geometric shapes, but I'm telling you that I like the shapes in the context of the chat that we're already having. You know, like saying triangles, squares, and circles that represent different aspects of entrepreneurship. Uh, so if I told that before this chat, it wouldn't necessarily associate it with entrepreneurship. It would just say, okay, geometric shapes like a mountain, blah, 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 whatever. But here I'm saying, geometric, let's make it like a mountaineer climbing a mountain, conquering a mountain, or about to conquer a mountain. Also minimalistic and Scandinavian design, because that's what I like. And I hate it. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again, shall we? The truth is that ChatGPT's AI image generation, like it does, it does pretty good, but I actually, over on my own website, lilassistance.com, we have our own AI image generator and you can also use it for free. If you sign up, use the free SEO tools link in the corner right there that you'll see with my face on it. Um, and you will get 100 free credits to use our AI image generator that I have like a million credits, but you'll, you'll get, you'll get 100 free credits and you'll be able to use this tool right here. So basically what I like to ask ChatGPT to do is say, create a stable diffusion prompt, basically a prompt for our custom AI stable diffusion model, um, on the little assistance generator. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and generate using that instead. I decided I'd just open a second one because I'm anticipating having to generate again. So now, basically, um, I, I haven't looked at them yet, but I'm basically trying to get like multiple versions of the same prompt here. Uh, another one that's like more bold. And look, this is like this is something that I always do to ChatGPT. Say, so give me like five different things to choose from. It's like hardly ever great the first time. So if you can get a whole bunch of them all at once, you can try them one after another. And here are our five different prompts to give us something that's a little bit different each time. And this is getting a little bit closer to what I had in mind, but we're still not quite there. So going back to ChatGPT, so picking one of them, pasting it into there, and then saying, adjust this a little bit so that it's going to produce something that's more abstract. Because those, those images before that it produced were quite, I don't know, they're quite literal, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how else to put that. I don't like the fact that it's an illustration, um, and so, you know, you remove that. Basically, we're just manipulating this prompt here to get what we want, ultimately. I, I need to pause this here for a second to say, do not get hung up on this. This should take, like, five minutes. In fact, I probably already spent too long on this, at least in my, my, my train ride length of a video here. What I see time and time again is people get stuck on this sort of thing. They get hung up on all the little details that are probably going to work themselves out at some point in the future anyway. This is about creating a workable logo. This is not your final. The first one, two, five, 10, 30 episodes, nobody's gonna be listening to you. That's a promise. Not because you're not great, you have to develop yourself and you need time to get discovered. And so if you get hung up on these small little details, you're never gonna put out that one, that first, second, third, fifth, 10th podcast. You just need to get started. And to get started, you need to get something that works. Doesn't have to be perfect, just get something that works. Okay, sorry, let's continue. All right, here we go. Now we're talking, this is, this is more like what I was thinking, had in mind. Uh, not that one, <laughs> what was? <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> so from here, I picked, I think I picked one already. I'm not sure if I downloaded it yet here in the video, um, but I'm creating a Canva uh, Canva image. We're basically just going to create a design straight from Canva. We're gonna, up, looks like I did download it already. So we're uploading that background image here. We're gonna put 
overlay some text, uh, and we're just going to create something that's super kick-ass. Something, no, sorry. We're going to we're going to create something that's a stopgap. This is basically just the the first rendition of our logo, our thumbnail uh, for our podcast. It just needs to be workable. It just needs to make sense. The next one can be perfect. But first things first, we need to get our first 10, 20, 30 episodes up online. So we're going to put the title here. We kind of put like a, a little thing. If you need to, let me pause this right here. If you need to, like I said before, you can go over to, you know, somebody else in the industry. I'm not saying copy their graphics. I'm saying draw inspiration from their graphics. So you can see here that, that TJ has like a, a specific style here, adventurous entrepreneurs. I, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks professional, right? And so if you want to sort of copy the style, not the graphics, but the style, um, to, to just so you know, like what elements the, the podcast thumbnail image should have, um, you know, that's not against the rules or anything. So basically that's what I'm doing here. Um, this video, I'm probably going to speed it up really fast. <laughs> so because this is like the boring part, right? Um, but basically I'm creating a, I'm putting the title on here. I've got to put podcast in there. Maybe I need like a little logo or something that goes on top of it. Um, but basically we're just putting this on top of the mountain image that's supposed to be sort of a visual representation of what our podcast is like so that everybody knows this is what it's called the raw entrepreneur this is what it's about it should be pretty clear and these are the sort of aesthetics that you can expect at least in audio form that's the new thumbnail that's the final thumbnail right there uh, i mean the final first th final thirst for the final first thumbnail not like the final final thumbnail hit continue save that shy and we're good to go that's like that's all we have for the whole podcast now it's time to get on to the first episode now we're uploading our first episode. This is probably the most important part of this entire video, so don't turn away. Basically, you've gotta come up with, I mean, hopefully you've already recorded one. Uh, for me, I had already recorded one. It's basically like the, the entrepreneur's guide to podcasting. I already mentioned this earlier on in the video, but if you go and subscribe to my podcast, you'll be able to download a PDF version of the entrepreneur's guide to podcasting, which gives you a, a pretty good taste of like everything you need to know for podcasting. And it gives you a, a spreadsheet of 12, the pros and cons of 12 different podcast hosts, which I've already mentioned earlier in the video, but let's continue here. So I've got to come up with a, first things first, I got to come up with a title for this podcast. I already know what it's about. I already recorded it, but of course, next I've got to come up with a description for the same thing. Uh, every single time, <laughs> with ChatGPT, I always, always, always tell it to cut the fluff. I want zero fluffy language. I really hate how it does that. So now I, I go back to ChatGPT, just like I always do. I say, I gotta write the description of the podcast episode. So I say, I have a podcast called The Raw Entrepreneur. Here's the podcast entire description. You know, paste it, obviously. I didn't write that all out. Um, and I've already created the the name of the podcast episode. So now I have podcast episode one. It's called Startup Sounds, the entrepreneur's guide to podcasting. Later on, I deleted Startup Sounds because I thought that sounded really stupid. It's just called the entrepreneur's guide to podcasting. It's like everything that you need to know about creating a podcast for podcasters goes through. Not like every little detail, but like an overview of the whole thing. So now I'm saying, please write me a description for the episode. The description should follow exactly the same type of language as the podcast description. Remember, we're like no nonsense, no fluff. That's what we're trying to do here. Um, I find myself often deleting the first, you know, half a sentence that ChatGPT gives me for like every single prompt. Uh, and so this was no exception here. <laughs> so basically just writing, this is a straightforward, practical, blah, blah, blah. Publish date now, explicit content, no. Uh, advanced details, full. Season number one, episode one. Now here is another really important part here. Basically, there are a bunch of different ways that you could go about um, creating your podcast episode images. Now, a lot of people don't have these. You don't have to create one if you don't want one. Um, basically, what happens is you have a thumbnail image for your podcast, for the entire podcast. Um, and if you don't create individual episode podcasts, what will happen is they will just use your podcast thumbnail for all of the episodes, which is fine. I would recommend, generally speaking, that you create sort of like a template for each one of your episodes where it's like, it goes like, it looks really similar to your podcast thumbnail image but then each one says like episode one episode two episode three you know with sort of the title or description of the episode so that's what i did here on canva i'm creating a template you can look at tj does this right here uh he's got like episode 56 episode 55 and i think they've got he has like the person that they interviewed in each episode again tj totally not copying you just deriving inspiration here i'm gonna leave a link to the canva template of this specifically in the description 
of this video. You feel free to use it, I mean, obviously adapt it to your own podcast name and style and everything, but it's not a bad, you know, not a bad place to start. Okay, we got episode one, season one, and I think we are good to go. Gotta just hit publish. Oh yeah, so Q&A here. Now this of course is by no means required, but it definitely it, it definitely does help drive like interaction. So something like this, like because this is about creating podcasts, what inspired you to start your own podcast or what's stopping you from doing it, I think is probably, you know, the most appropriate question here that can actually stoke a conversation potentially. Now, if you have anything to add to that, if you want to answer that question, please do answer in the comments below on this video or on the podcast. That's cool too. So then we're good to go. I think it's all published here. Yeah, it's all published. Now, the only thing left to do here, we've got a, we've got our first episode, we've got our thumbnail, we've got our title, we've got our description, we've got our episode title, we've got our episode thumbnail, we've got our episode description. The only thing left here is to distribute. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, this Spotify or podcaster Spotify, formerly known as Anchor, um, is a podcast host. They host your MP3 files and all your images and that sort of thing, but they distribute out to all the different channels like uh, Apple Music, like Spotify, and they do so via something called an RSS feed. Now, an RSS feed is just like a brick of text that basically has a whole bunch of information, um, and you have to, the first thing you need to do is you have to go enable your CSS feed. And then you're going to go put your email address in there. You got to add it to the RSS feed because you have to go confirm that for a bunch of different services. And then you're going to go one by one first to Amazon Music. You're going to link your podcast in here. You got to log into your Amazon account. Um, you got to confirm the email. It's going to send you an email, and then you have to go confirm that email address that's you know that basically says I own this podcast, and you're all set. Next up, Apple Pro Podcasts. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through the rest of these. They're really not that important. Basically, you're just gonna go one by one. You are gonna have to go create accounts for each and every one of them. You have to go add your RSS feed to the account and then it will be distributed out across all platforms, all channels, and that's pretty much it. Okay, full disclosure here. Uh, there are eight channels that Podcasters for Spotify distributes to, and I was on the seventh one when I reached Waterloo train station. So I actually, lied to you at the beginning of this and failed the challenge. But I got pretty darn close. The next stop will be our final stop, London Waterloo. 